So YouTubers, I have been germinating seeds for like the first time ever. What am I germinating, I hear you ask? Well, I have, if I can get into the tissue, is monkey pod. Samen, samen? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But what these have had, they've been in water for 24 hours. And then I, I took out the hard shell after they'd soaked. You like to scrape it with sandpaper just so the water can penetrate into the seed. And then after that, I painstakingly ripped the outer shell, the husk off with my, my nails. And then on the left, we have baobab, lemonade tree. It's a, it's a lovely specimen for bonsai. And don't they look weird? Yeah, they look like little bugs, little grubs. Yeah, but I'm going to be a nice bonsai one day. You sure are. You bloody sure are. Hopefully. But these, these were even harder. You sand them and the sandpaper doesn't even touch them. I had to, I had to soak them. Well, I had, to, I had to get my trusty wire cutters and cut into them. And I, I swear I took some of these back, the back of that out. I swear there's some white bits in it. But... I don't know about them, but we'll just cover them up and hope for the best. I'm going to leave them in there for another 24 hours. I'm going to go to work and I'm going to come back in the morning and see how, see where we are. Morning. It's the next day. Oh, it's the next day, all right. Judgment day. So I found out in the morning the tissue was really dry so I, my good friend Jason gave me this um, this bag yeah, peanuts in or something twiglets I can't remember what you had in but thanks Jace and that's kept it moist so moment of truth let's see if they dried out too much this morning and they died or drum roll ooh ooh, ooh look at that Oh, bloody hell. They look good, don't they? They got proper root on and all, all sorts. Now that is... That's my first time. That's my first time. They look bloody good. They're, they're bloody working. Now for the... Bayabab. Boabab. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. I'd probably not. Just Wikipedia. It. Just Wikipedia. And it'll say, did you mean? And you'll say, yeah, that's what I meant. Bayabab. Now... These are the ones I really want to work, really. And there's a bit of discoloration, isn't there? Is that normal? Is that discoloration normal? I don't know. Did they dry out too much? And they look like they've opened up a bit more. Hmm. If anyone's ever tried to grow a bear bab and knows anything, is that discoloration normal? That's... That does look different though from what it did the night before. I'm quietly, I'm quietly confident. Confident? That's the one. I'm quietly confident. Now, I'll just put them there for now. Oh, one got away. A little grub. Let's pop them in there. Now, I thought, if I'm going to be germinating seeds, I'm going to have to do it professionally. So I brought all the right kit. Got 12 little pods in there. And I bought some, um, bought some stuff off John. He's, he's got an inn down the road. John Inns. Basically, what this Saints is short for is it protects the tree. So... You cannot transport these Brazilian rain tree seeds or plant matter, anything to do with the tree, without a permit. And yeah, I've, I've spent 40 quid. It doesn't sound a lot, but it's a, it's a lot of money to me. 
on these seeds that I couldn't find anywhere online. I couldn't find them anywhere and I found them. Probably the only ones you could get hold of in the whole world online. Anyway, they come from America. Reputable seed dealer. Seedtopia it was called. And um, yeah, that was that was like three weeks ago. Three weeks ago and they've been at Langley. Langley Customs for the last two weeks. Two weeks today, shall I mention. Yes. But have I had a letter saying they've seized them? Oh, no. No, I haven't had anything. So, so yeah, they're at customs now. And for, oh, we got some Brazilian rain tree seeds. Yeah, they're really sought out and really rare. Well, yeah, do you want some? Yeah. And they've all nicked my seeds, basically. So, note to self. If any of you have got a Brazilian rain tree in the UK and you want to give me a cutting, I, I will pay big bucks for that cutting and um, I will yeah many hundreds so just leave me a little message if you can get hold of a Brazilian rain tree and you live in England I'd, I'd love to hear I'd love to hear from you anyway so that's that's nearly all my mate John's compost in ins I don't want to compact it too much but I don't know what I'm doing I am a amateur when it comes to seeding but I bought all the right kit, so you buy the right kit and do it by the book, it should be all right, shouldn't it? Now I think I'm going to start with my, my uh, Bayabab. These ones, the buggy, grubby. Well, I don't know if that discoloration's normal. I really don't, but they do look bigger. They look bigger than they did yesterday morning. I'm just going to have to plonk them in and see see what happens, really. Now, I'm all new to this, so I don't even know how I'm, in, how I'm meant to put them in these seed trays. A good friend of mine, Jason, said just put it in a, on its side, like I'm doing with these. And it, the root will find its way down. So if this F's up, Jace, it's all your fault, mate. Nah, I'm not joking. It's my, my stupidity. I should have done the research and looked online. I like to work things out for myself, to be fair. Now, a sensible person would... um. They put little tags in there saying which ones they are, but I've only got five of those, and the rest I'm going to fill up with the monkey pod, same and same in. And hopefully, I'll be able to tell them apart. It's going to be pretty noticeable, hopefully, if they if they do pop their head up to tell which is which. Oh yeah, I did put one in there. See, I'm very forgetful. I, I won't even remember. I'll have to watch this video back to see where where I put which one. Yeah, crazy. I know, crazy. Right, he got a big root. He has. Oh, be careful. Oh, he got an even bigger one. You know, I'm, I'm going to put a little hole in. I want to give it a head start. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to do it in that one. I know. You've got to be careful not to break that little root bit off. Or you've had it. You green grass. Uh. Painstaking, I know. Painstaking. But worth it. Look at him. That's in 24 hours. That is, that is phenomenal. Oh, that's upside down. That's better, I think. Maybe I'm doing this wrong, but... It's trial and error, isn't it? Trial and error. It's basically just like bonsai. There's no right or wrong way to bonsai. But I guess there is a right and wrong way to get little seedlings. But I'm, I'm quietly confident. I know I've said that before, but I am quietly confident that at least one or two of these things are going to 
pop their heads out of the, the soil. The baobab, I, I'm not sure. I, d I don't know about that. I, I'm a bit concerned about that discoloration. I don't know if that's where it got a bit dry this morning when I saw it. Um, but hopefully, look at that. I'll be having words with you, John. You're in. At number two. Fairfield. But yeah, I'd, a little bit of pressure, but not a lot. Not a lot. I think, I think that is. Oh no, 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 a little bit more. When it all, when it all looking the same. See, with the um, baobab seeds, it says they need like 10 centimeters for the tap root. Um, obviously, that, that, that looks really, really neat. Well done, Gizzy. Well done. Obviously, that is not 10 centimeters deep. That's probably seven, six, if that. Um, so, if these baobab ones do poke their heads through, I'm going to have to transplant them into separate little pots. I don't know, I've got the way. I don't know what to do with them. I'll just put them in the tissue for now and I'll just probably put them in a pot and just hope for the best for them. These are the ones I'm putting the time and effort into, you know. Uh, I've got my little bonsai watering can. I haven't got a little spray. Now, note to self, it would be better to use a little spray bottle if you've got one because I believe I'm probably putting too much... Um, water in here and that that kill them when you get root rot but we've got a little vent we just we just vent it out we vent it out now if you want to see how these seeds get on then i suggest you like share and subscribe to gizzy green fingers and i will see you next time tell her for now